Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So, we're going to continue on, right? And we're, I think, yeah, we're just starting the trial. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine oh, the okay. results. I thought for a second maybe it would, like, start giving, like, a p trying to say what happened in the trial since I've been gone. I'm like, I haven't started it. If you can figure out who done it, then yes, I'll yes, punish yes. everyone this oh, I remember how this works. We already know who did it. We already know. No, Ao, you know. I remember. I remember my reasoning. I believe it's Celeste because she knows things that she sh didn't, that she shouldn't. A.K.A. the uh, blueprints, because only... My gosh. Biakia. <laughs> I'm forgetting names. Biakia told me only. Was that? It was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found it in that suit. Uh-huh. The suit, which, by the way, should not be movable in in the slightest, because it is a very clunky cosplay suit. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. No, wait, no, wait. We proved that wrong. I remember it had lots of joints, but still, I can't imagine attacking people within a giant cosplay suit. I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're murdering now. Murderer! Oh. Who are you calling a murderer? That is true, I mean. I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprint for the suit. Yeah, but like, how do you know this? Hot, we assume we're used to build it. But we, I, only one person knows that. That's Biakia and me. You shouldn't know this thing. And all of it was found in your room. You have no, to we never told the anyone else. Is quite compelling. It points what if Biakia knows this already? Suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. Uh huh. How many times do I have to tell you? I, I. I explained my reasonings why I think it's Celeste in the previous episode, so if you don't, if you didn't watch it, go watch it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Uh-huh. Is Hero really the killer, or... Well, as Byakuya said, he's also kind of a doofus, so... Or anything else, we have to make that clear. You better not introduce any new gosh darn functions in this. Mm, yes, the message, to meet him, right? Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. Uh-huh. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> we do like conspiracies you around know, here. Why? Why did you kill them? No! Just hold on a second! Mm, okay. So we wanna you know look at this hand awfully messy. If I remember correctly, here's my writing is. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts. There we go. No, That's a break. It's not his. Because he didn't write it. Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? Nah. You know, there's only one cosplay artist here. That you'd think would be a cosplay artist. It's... it. Yeah. Well, Who me, my guy? Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote, asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. Uh huh. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? Yeah. When you compare it to the blueprints, there's no way you could think the same person made. Unless he squiggled in the bad handwriting just for this purpose, he was playing it smart. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their. But does Yasa Hero? Like, really strike you as the smartest person in the world? No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Yeah, one's in blue and one's in black. Come on! I'm not smart enough to try to change my handwriting. Even anyway. Hero thinks so. <laughs> so, Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hero's the culprit? Yes! He is not the only one. I think Hero's innocent. And Byakuya well. always knows the answer before the trial even begins. Then who was in that Robo Justice suit? I mean, clearly. Yeah, as a hero, he was in it. Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? No. The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. Huh. It was Yasuhiro. And of course he passes it off to me. Who was in the Robo Justice suit? Yeah. 
The suspicious in question was. <laughs> it was Hero. Like, it was. Hero. I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit. And we never found any Unless it's all a frame job. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. Mm. That doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. But there's other evidence. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. That, yeah. So what See, Byakuya knows everything. That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the Robo Justice suit. And also, what? Now, now that we know the Justice suit was not the culprit, uh, who was the only people that interacted with the Justice suit? Oh yeah, Hifumi and Celeste. Now uh, there's only one left, so you know the one who took the picture of the person that's not the culprit. Now that's a bold assumption. Mm -hmm. And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Yes, probably. Of course. But before we get to that, yes. There's something Makoto, else we need to clarify something. first. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, clarifying. Hey, stop trying to boss us around. <sighs> All things have a proper order. I mean. So what is it? What needs <laughs> Try to be clarified? <sighs> I don't think AOV was being bossed around, but alrighty. We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's life. Oh, that's easy. It was the cart. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. <laughs> Just the dev making sure that we cover everything. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? Yes. The things they used to move Taka's body. It was the repository dolly. I got it. There's still one more thing. Things that were used to move blind blind. They must have been the blue tarp. I got it. Yeah, <laughs> I got they it twice. A dolly and a tarp, right? You got it, Makoto, my boy. <laughs> With that attitude. So let's see if I can explain. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room. Oh. And then we rediscovered it There's in the Viakia repository. There's Viakia, again. Un unfazed, uh, as always. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? Yeah. It was the same tarp that, up until then, was stored in the equipment room. And what she was moved on. So the killer must have seen it there. And decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. There's also blood stains on the wheels. That way, you know. they wouldn't leave any blood stains while they were moving it. I mean, okay, clearly it did. If there's stains on the wheels. Okay, that explains the tar and the dolly. Well, there's wheels. There's... Same thing. Yeah. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found. I don't remember. Where... No, the dolly was um. The dolly was in the art room. Is this the art room? This might be the art room. But when the body disappeared, so did the doll. Is this the art room? Later, I don't when Taka's body reappeared in the repository. No, oh, wait. So did this the is the doll. art room. The dolly was always in the art room. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body. Am I right? Yep. But are you sure you are not mistaken? Why would I be mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when you found Taka's body? <laughs> not like I'm saying, I think it was in the art room. I remember seeing it like it was like, this is how we move statues. That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. Mm-hmm. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Ah. Is it not Suspicion. possible that it was in the repository all along, and you simply didn't realize it? Maybe. She's raised an objection. How do you respond? There I no respond well. Wrong. Nobody expects much from you anyway. Hey, no, I'm the ultimate luck student. I'm luck and get everything right. Come you on now. all accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. Well, that's just... That's just hurtful. Celeste, that hurts my heart. Well, I have to... Say something so mean to me. 
Wow, I've never heard anyone sound so nice or being so mean, but maybe they can change their mind. I just explained to them why the dolly must have been moved from the equipment room to the repository. Full time battles. Another element? How? <laughs> Let's talk about reloading. Starting with the next little time battle, we're going to add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo marker, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's statements. But from now on, just locking it on and pressing the left mountains won't be enough to handle them. Now, it costs you one bolt to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bolts, you can't destroy any more statements, no matter how locked on you are. However, you can reload by pressing the tab key. Just like locking in, you'll have to press the tab key in time with the tempo. Basically, just remember that the tab key now is a function along with your- Oh my gosh. You'll automatically reload the start of fever time when your equipment will not decrease. Oh, but if your action's difficulty is set to gentle, you won't have to reload at all, in which case you can ignore everything and just say- I forgot how to- I forgot how to do the- Special time. Controls, I suck at this, tell me how to do stuff. Where's the controls when you need them? There's just no controls button, that's alright. You had it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! So pathetic! Life will get nowhere! Do your work! Away with you! You miserable wretch! Well, that's just mean! I feel like I'm just I being insulted agree. now. You are a fool! Life will get nowhere! Do your work! You miserable wretch! You had it wrong! I Wait, how do I. How do I. You are a fool! I forgot how to forgot how to change that. I cannot agree. This should prove it. I forgot how to turn off tempo time. Like there's like a button, right? But I forgot it. <laughs> so I just have to go in the dark. If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. Mm -hmm. What when was I it? I found the dolly in the repository. One of the wheels had a blood stain on it. Uh -huh. oh. There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly wheel's trail. Well, there you go. We, we broke through her insults. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident and that, as they wheeled the body out of usually the Usually that's like at the end of a trial, so it's weird seeing it at and the as beginning. And the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. Yeah. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. <laughs> what do you got to say to that, Celeste? <laughs> Jesus, Celeste really hate me that much. Well, Probably. anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Yeah. Yeah, the subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then... It's someone else. What kind of robot is it? It's, it's a setup robot. I'm not sure that really matters. It's an anime robot. I'd be happy to explain Maybe. why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. Because it's hard to move around, and how do you put yourself in that locker? If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become <gasps> immediately He had obvious. to bend over with the dolly. And the robot suit didn't bend according to the blueprints. It'll be clear why the person in the suit couldn't have done it. What does he mean by that? Mm. I get what you're saying, Biakia. I get what you're saying. There's not a hip joint. That was the flaw to it. Yep. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. Wrong. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Now, yeah. Keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Yeah. Well, yeah. But even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend over. Well, this thing can't. No, it's wrong. I remember. You're absolutely right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. Mm-hmm. But if you were wearing that suit. Do you think you could actually get into a position That's like that? I think that? it's all set up. What do you mean? Well, it doesn't have the hip joint. You think literally what wore you it. said when we were all checking out the suit together. Remember? 
Uh-huh. I'm blind as a bat here. Can't you see my feet at all? I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Well, when you're in that suit, okay. not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Oh, Am I right facts. about that? Now that you mention it, yeah. Seems like as a hero and the culprit. Like it would be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. Uh-huh. Well, what's to stop you from simply pushing the dolly with your feet? Because then it would hurt the cosplay? I don't know. When you can't even see your feet? You really think someone could kick the dolly all that way? Probably not, especially if it has someone on it. Yeah, it'd be totally impossible. Not that I can say for sure myself. No, oh, okay. Yeah, I believe you. On top of that, if you were wearing <laughs> not like you tried a rigid, it. cumbersome suit, it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a tarp. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? Oh, okay. Well, he couldn't take it off, remember? There's absolutely no chance the costume was taken off just for the body because you can't take it off by yourself. I got it. Eh? Eh? I, don't I remember. Think taking off the suit was an option. If you remember. Uh huh. I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't take. I didn't make the stupid friggin' thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off by yourself. We don't really have a choice. Let's help them. Yeah. That's true. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off without help. Then you really can't take it off by yourself? Yeah. Hero wasn't just making it up. <laughs> I mean, probably not. Of course I wasn't making it up. It'd be hard to reach behind you and like use your dexterous dexterous hands to grasp when it's covered in blocky armor. If he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Yeah. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect. It was a frame job. Yeah, that's right. So, it's really, really true that Robo Justice couldn't have moved the dolly. Yeah. To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? Uh huh. No, wait. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? <laughs> That's why I think it was you. You all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? <laughs> yeah. If whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Well... Besides... Do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? I mean, yeah. How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice, er. That's what I decided to call him just now. <laughs> oh, oh, that's kind of spoilers. No, oh, that kind of gave him away too. I also thought it was Hifumi oh, mixed with Celeste. I don't know why they mixed together. I'm assuming Celeste bullied Fumi into helping. But, um... <laughs> How did I not catch that? So long as those Hindsight. Exist, the proper conclusion is beyond question. Wow. The individual inside the suit and the culprit are one and the same. It was Hero, without a doubt. Well... Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be right. I got more truth bullets. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just gonna point that out. It's still it ain't all hero. too early to reach that conclusion. Yeah. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it. I mean, Matakuma might want to hurry it up because it wouldn't be as fun. Before we rush to a verdict, shouldn't we explore every single possibility? Sure. Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. All right, Miss Data Analyzer. Analyze Perhaps. for us. But where do we go from here? Uh, no idea. Take Let's me. Let's review this series of unfortunate events from the beginning. Maybe we'll uncover something new. Okay. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! Okay, well, uh, you're not really a, a detective kind of person, Jill. So. I don't disagree, but our lives are on the line. If this is what it takes, we 
we have to do it. Okay. Plus, maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. Yeah, Kyoko, just tell us, please. All right, then. Let's take another I like look Kyoko's like, what happened. I won't probably say, I, I won't say, but, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Now, while Kyoko was gone, and that's very suspicious, because I know Robo Justice was a frame job and all that, I still think it's Celeste. I and the information she should know. This morning. Which was the turning point, basically. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Makoto, Hina, Kyoko, and myself. Mm -hmm. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up. So we went to look for everyone. And that's what we found. That Death. was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Yes. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. Okay, I don't think Kyoko... Yeah, I don't think Kyoko could slap Celeste in the face. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my... I mean, okay, Celeste. it's either Togo and Byakuya, right? It, like, out, out of all those people suspicious, it's easy... Like, with everyone dead and everything, it's Celeste, Byakuya, and Togo. Cool. But Byakuya honestly does not seem like someone who would do this and then um because he would do it really smart maybe and he also helped me with hints and he seems to know who did it and then uh toko well i did scissors that's scissors lady she does scissors stuff was an hour because i remember being attacked a little after seven uh-huh was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing no, and a hero, strange but, like, costume. No, we, we already know Hero's not it. As it turns out, it was Robo Justice. Yeah. It also soon became clear that this same Robo Justice had abducted Ifumi. Oh no. Ifumi, no. We were soon joined in our search by Biak. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. And then went on to. If that, Ifumi if like my suspicion library. is correct, um. Was he, he was, it was just knocked out Hero in that suit whenever they were messing with it because it's like a multiple part suit. So they are just playing around with Hero. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. Mm -hmm. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. Gah. Also, I still don't like that you're, uh, she knows that your poker face broke when it has never broken and then you're always like hee hee murder adapt but what's wrong I saw a shadow someone something moving around at the top of the stairs when Celeste told us that we decided to split up and search the second floor mm -hmm. and she's the only one that ever saw and soon after that, the robot I saw someone moving around on the third floor and I yelled out. No, specifically the robot. You said the robot. Celeste, what's wrong? That was rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him. A strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so we headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. And then... Uh-huh. Huh? Uh, what was that? I came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi! He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Yes. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. While Sakura, Yakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. Okay. Oh, I bet there's going to be some hints in this that I'm just not going to get. We found Hifumi. Dead. No, oh, there goes Ifumi. And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Yes. I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. We must have found both bodies at almost exactly the same time. Yeah, but the death alarm went off later, too. Because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. So, that's why I, I think Kafumi was alive and hid in that Fumi. closet. 
Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office. Uh -huh. But right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us. And she told us something very surprising. Uh oh. Nafumi's body has disappeared. Wait. But didn't we come from him? No, wait. No, we came from Taka. I don't know. We rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room. So we hurried what? back again. No double kills. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? But when we got there, we discovered that now Taka's body had also Why are we doing a missing. recap? Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. And, and we found them in the art room, I think. Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository. Uh huh. Which is where we rediscovered the corpses. See, Celeste plays a key integral role in every single one of these. She's always the one that found something, did something. I think Why? That about covers it. I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. Mm hmm. It certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. No, that's okay, methodical. Well, if dangerous. that's true, then what? I don't know. Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. Okay, subdividing tasks, I can there, do that. We can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Yes. Now that contradiction let's time. Get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. He got bonked. Contradiction is hidden what happened to Taka. In order to uncover the truth of this case, I have to find them no matter what. Oh boy. Monokuma file number three. Hold up. Am I playing on like gentle mode or something? I don't know. I wonder if he died before he threw me. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Ah. Uh. came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3, while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. Well, not really numbered, but were they really used in that order? So... Regarding Taka's death. So I think this is one I of those. If he died before he me. Or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. No! It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. While Taka's death came from a swing. Oh, that's so unfortunate. See? I hate those pink so little things. No. <sighs> I, I know what I'm supposed to do. I just suck at it, man. So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before he threw me. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Uh huh. Taka came last. Okay, I gotta remember. What makes you say that? That there's pink. Because of the numbering of the justice hammers. No. Wrong. No, it's wrong. It can be swapped. Because, freaking, yeah, why not? Hold on. There's no reason to assume that the hammers were used in the same order as their numbers. I mean, yeah, but murder would If do anything, that. that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. Uh huh. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order. Exactly. But in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? Yes, because Hifumi was still freaking alive. <laughs> okay then, let's see the proof. Alright. And evidence that proves Taka was killed before Hifumi. There's something that relates to what time he must have died. The broken watch. Broken watch? Was there a broken watch? There's a broken watch. I remember this. Oh, wristwatch. Um, so... I need an S. Give me an S. And I need a C. And then an H. 
Where's the C at? Now I see an H. Ta-da! I knew that one! Now I understand. Ooh, I remembered something. I've got it. Papa's wristwatch. Mm-hmm. See? Look. It broke with the hands pointing just past six o'clock. And since uh Celeste was hit at just past seven. It must have gotten broken when he was And then Hufumi the and then all that kind of stuff. Because as of last night. Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he started pointing at his watch. So it was ten o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. So if it wasn't broken after six last night, then he must have been attacked around six this morning. I think I said that exact same and thing. That would be his official time of death. Like I think my character said the exact same thing at one point. But if that's true, then he was killed well before he flew. Mm -hmm. And before Celeste was attacked this morning. Which happened around seven. Uh oh, contradictions are appearing. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. Yeah. That simple fact slipped past all of us. <laughs> well, not really. We came across it. We're we here made now. The wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. Well, now we're past That's that. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. Yeah. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Well, now, the now, assumption is gone. if Taka was killed around six, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Oh, yeah, that is fair. No, except, um... I mean, yeah, I guess. No, nah, because the alibis are still work for the uh, next ones. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. That's fair. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder. But not the others, but right? all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. Yeah? That's right. With him, at least, we're all safe. Yeah, yeah. What, what was that? I came from downstairs. It must have been... Fumi, he's in the nerf's office. It's bad, come on, we have to go. Yeah, for Celeste's attack, we, we have alibis still. We were all together, except for Hiro and Kyoko. Yeah. I then guess. We all ran down to the nurse's office, and that's where we found his body. To be fair, Kyoko. Uh, I keep on wanting to say Kyoko did it, but I still think it's like, oh, well, Celeste with all the evidence that I have gathered up. I mean, the only thing I have pinned against Kyoko, she was gone for a bit, and that's the same with uh, Hero as well. That's totally true. We're all in the clear. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on. Yeah, yeah Hero. I don't think so. If that's true. Where's the yeah, we would have found evidence of that. I don't know. <laughs> the perfect don't just evidence. Don't stuff up. But, but like, this is a fiction. Anyway. We, we gotta do big stuff. Solid up. alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. Yeah, but he wasn't dead till like he was still alive until up and above. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. Mm -hmm. When his body vanished from the nurse's office. Tina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? Yes. And then, there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room. This is a lot sound like Hifumi's the culprit. At that time, and we or Kyoko. We were gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi's And Hiro. Bones. Hiro, Kyoko, and Hifumi are the only ones that could do anything in this oh, place. I, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time! Yay! Wait, then what if Genocide Shield did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right there. We know she used scissors Even the guy. Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Hifumi's True. body. True. He's a chunky lad, but we cleared this up. Or I cleared this up. I think it's, uh, he walked himself. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room. Only Sakura could do something, and even that would be hard. Besides, they didn't do either of them For anyway. In other words... It is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies. Uh oh. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared. 
So they most certainly could Do you think either of them can actually move Kafumi? So what now, Kyoko? Yeah, go ahead. Kyoko, For just now, tell us what you did. We can't on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. No. Oh. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. All right, then. In particular, we I think try we that. need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. Th okay, that, that is, that's, that's a good true. question. That's a really good we question. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. There's only one thing. And according he did to himself. what said. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. So then, the killer was able to get and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? It would seem so. His body apparently disappeared and the wiped the off glasses that points that Kafumi was still thing. alive. But to carry that much weight from the first <laughs> it's like over 300 pounds. In that short amount of time? <laughs> it's a task heavy. Oh man, yeah! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Exactly. Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? Mm -hmm. What? How? If the dead body were to move itself. Dun dun dun. Did I like that the uh oh we found it's like a turning point kind of music just came up. Huh? The, the dead body m m moved on its own? Yeah. <laughs> no. Not another <laughs> Ghost. Yes. Uh, ghost sure. Although actually funny enough there is actually a ghost in this place if you're uh <laughs> Someone pointed it out to me in the previous episode. The camera in uh, Yasuhiro's room has like something possessing it. But it all, it's only happening around Yasuhiro and I find I that funny. I it has anything to do with the occult. <laughs> I think what she's implying is, we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. Yeah. He was... alive? Uh-huh. Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office? But simply walked out on his Exactly. Own. But I mean, we found his body. He was dead. Kinda. Perhaps he was simply playing dead. That it isn't possible. I mean, it could be. Did we check his pulse? The idea that Hifumi was still alive. Is it really possible? This is why you check the pulse, man. It could still be alive. No! Wait, broken wristwatch. We don't, we don't want the broken, we want the- Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No, it is I'm going to get that, because I think that's what we need. He's out of that. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Yeah, but tacos at the same time. dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Oh, wait. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office... Oh, gosh, reset. ...there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. It is impossible. Well, it's quite possible. Hifumi was dead. Without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Uh huh. Hikumi's dead body had been found. Okay. And that is I'll why I'll take that, and then made. I think I can. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Shoot! Oh, Taka, Taka. Maybe I'll shoot it with the bullet. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi I don't know what I'm doing, office, man. I'm trying my best, but I suck at this. He was actually still alive. No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Shortly, you heard the body discovery announcement, along with the rest of us. Uh-huh. Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. I don't know! What am I doing? Shoot! Okay, I don't think the broken wristwatch. Maybe this has to do with the second phrase. Hifumi in the nurse's office. 
there's a chance he was actually still alive? Yes. It is impossible. Hikumi was dead, without a doubt. We don't know that. And you know that how? Man, I suck at this. Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hikumi's dead body had been found. But he was alive. Me at least the worst, Tyree. Please stop wasting my time. What the hell do you want me to do? What the hell do you want me to do? I don't know! Are you saying that when we first found I don't have other in the nurse's friends? office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. It is impossible. Hikumi was dead. Without a doubt. Maybe I fired this one? And you know that how? I've tried like every cover. Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hikumi's dead body had been found. My god. I don't. There's. I don't know how. Are you saying that when we first found Hikumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. It is impossible. A chance he was still alive. Hikumi was dead. Without a doubt. And you okay. know that how. Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hikumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? No. Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Okay. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? Well, there's a dead body found. Maybe you have some idea, but I don't understand it at all. I don't know. saying that when we I first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead. Without a doubt. And you know that This is so freaking dumb. I don't understand what it wants me to do. Along with the rest of us, Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Okay. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Talk is broken wish rush. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. Oh. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hikumi's dead body had been found. Okay. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Maybe I'll do this on the second one? Saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive. No, it is impossible. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really trying here, but I don't understand what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. You know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. Oh, okay, so it is canon that they repeat themselves. I thought this is why I didn't think that would work. This is why I didn't think it worked. I didn't think they would make you restart over and over again. I thought it was canon. I thought it wouldn't be canon that they repeat themselves over and over and over again. But apparently it is. I hate this. Of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Nah. Maybe. But that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. Mm -hmm. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. And if Fumi's still alive, I have one heart left because I suck. First of all, and also because I didn't know that the repeating would be really canon. Have been two announcements. I thought it'd have to be in the same thing. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. What do you say, Monokuma? 
Any comments? I bet Monica won't like that. Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. No. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. Yeah. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bum. No, oh, he won't like no, that. Actually, that was plenty. Uh oh. Huh? He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time. Which means uh -oh. even if we find the same body again later, he won't make Yeah, an and then Hafumi's announcement came later. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Uh-huh. Huh? Later on? Yeah. Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement twice. Second hour of announcement. The first time it played was when we found each body in the nurse's in the cover. The second time was when? When the both bodies were rediscovered. I got it! I got half my health back! The second time in the repository, when we rediscovered the two bodies. Uh huh. I'm still pissed that that, that freaking repeat was canon. That they repeat themselves. The bodies have been discovered. For a certain amount of time, which you may use however uh, you really like, grass trial will begin. Didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us. But Monokuma doesn't, doesn't contradict himself. Or wait, Monokuma doesn't lie typically. Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. Exactly. And in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually just found, aka Hifumi. Discovered for the first time. Hifumi. So, when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. Exactly. Meaning, he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon him in the repository. Yes. And that's just part of it. There's one other thing that- Oh gosh, I'm gonna die during the comic, I just realized in the that. Nurse's office. Oh, 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 I know, I know! Oh? Because he was super good at playing dead! Bada bing, bada boom! Exactly! That is the worst logic I But the glasses! But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. The glasses. Okay then, let's take another look at the events. The glasses. The Bring up the glasses. The then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. Okay. This whole thing is pointless. Celeste, come on now, shut up. We're trying to prove that you're guilty. There must be proof that shows Fumi was still alive. I have a plan to somehow show it to everyone. No, frick, I'm gonna die. Okay, I gotta watch. I'm gonna read the whole thing. Well, here's one thing we do. So I don't lose. The first time we found Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office. Mm -hmm. And then, while me and Celeste were in the bathroom, his body disappeared. Yeah? And the next time we saw his body, it was in the repository. But when you compare his body before we moved and his body after we moved, other than the change in how it was positioned, that was wrong. It's Shoot. Oh, was there something afterward? I thought that was correct. Well, here's one thing we do know. I hate it. The first time we found his body was in the nurse's office. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm gonna die. And then, while me and Celeste were in the bathroom. Alright, I gotta be patient. I gotta be patient. I got plenty of time. And the next time we saw his body. I'm not even going even if I think it's correct, I'm not going to click it and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a repeat so I don't lose. Other than the change in how it was positioned, there was no notable difference. Okay, this is the notable difference. I I'm no, sorry. I'm I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> I need to listen to my own advice, but I'm not. <laughs> in fact, there was one clear difference between Hifumi and the nurse's office in the repository. Mm -hmm. His glasses. They're different. That fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in the beginning. Yeah, they're clean. Perhaps you'd like to fill the rest of us in? Yep. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. Uh-huh. They're wiped off. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. Because he had to see. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. And I don't think a person moving him would do that. Trash can nurse's office was a mallet. 
glasses cleaning cloth. I got it. There we go. It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mascot. One look the only one who Fumi like cloth should make things clear. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's glasses clean. And only Hifumi has it. And the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? Yeah. And whose digital camera was it? Hifumi's, of Exactly. Course. The character was... Princess Piggles. From Demon Angel How do you remember that? <laughs> I highly doubt anyone but Hifumi would have brought something like this to school. Yeah, I true. I see your point. And the only people here who wear glasses are... Uh... Hifumi and Toko. I wouldn't be caught dead <laughs> using a tacky piece of garbage like that. <laughs> true. A few is all I need to keep my glasses clean. Ah. And there's no question. It belonged to Hifumi. Are you sure it could belong to Byakuya? I, I mean, he could just be covering. Mm. Mm. So what you're saying is... What exactly? He was alive and wiped what his I'm eyeballs. Saying is, the blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Uh-huh. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wipes the blood off himself. But who else would do that? But who would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? Exactly. That's a good point. And it must have been him, right? Yeah. So let's assume that Hifumi was still alive in the nurse's office. Oh, good. K taking charge and making everyone he realize he's alive. To be good. Dead. Then when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Then yes. he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. Uh huh. And with that, the impossible task of moving his copious corpse oh, becomes corpse. possible, <laughs> wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, I like that. If he was just pretending to be dead. Uh huh. What was with all that blood? No, the IV bags. They're in the medical room. Or not IV bags, the blood bags. The fridge in the nurse's office contains packs of blood for emergencies. He probably used one of those. You know, he could have given that to someone. He figured if he was going to play dead, he should go all out. So he just dumped it everywhere. Yeah. But he got crazy with it and had to wipe his glasses off when he was done. God, what an idiot. And if Kifumi was still alive at that point... The disappearance of Taka's body is easily explained. There we go. But now we need to describe who killed the It Fumi. should be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. Mm-hmm. Oh, if Taka's body was Sakura, yeah. The Fumi. Yes, give me that half health back. While we were all gathered in the nurse's office, he went to the equipment room and took Taka's body. Mm-hmm. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. Yeah, I remember that. that was yep. Well, after the bodies disappeared, because they the couldn't get in, and I tried right? to get in. So me and Sakura headed for the repository, but when we got there, the door was locked. He was actually saying something, right? And the repository door can only be locked from the inside, uh -huh. which means. When Hina and Sakura got to the repository, they're finally getting it. Someone was Took already a bit. inside, and it could only have been Hifumi, who just finished stashing Taka's body there. Exactly. He convinced us all he was dead, and when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. Yes. So Hifumi wasn't just another victim in this case; he was one of the assailants. Which is honestly surprising, <laughs> because not gonna lie. Out of everyone, I mean everyone, in this entire place, I would assume Hofumi would be the one who would least likely commit a crime. Well, besides like perverse, but I meant like, um, deadly crimes. But that means he took part in the murders. Mm -hmm. Now, who is the bossy one who bosses a Fumi around? Having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? Yes, please. There's more? Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his... Oh, that's it. You, you could have just revealed. set this out without me having to lose a whole bunch of hearts. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The item he took off... Oh, the note. The note. Yes, yes. Yeah, who's still talking? Could it be? Um. Yeah, the Hafumi note. I got it. 
<gasps> I got my health back. Yes. Had away, aren't you? Hidden notes? Yes. That's right. We found it stuffed in his pants. Well, Kyoko found it. Uh, she's really good at looking down into people's junk, as seen in two case trials. What? <laughs> yeah. Yes. His pants. Yes, his pants. Hey, okay, well, forget about the pants for now. Take a look at what the note says. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. That's the note I was telling you about. The one that told me where to go. No. Huh? Wait, this one's a little different. In my note, it said, Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room uh -oh. at 1 a.m. I see. Then this note isn't the same one Hero got. Exactly. It's not the same? No, it has a different time. In other words, the killer got in touch with another person besides Hero. Taka. And that person could only have been... I got it. Oh, another half health That's back. That's right. Taka. Good stuff. The killer used this note to draw out Taka and murder him. Oh, poor Taka. Hello, over here. Objection. Objection. Wait, you have an objection? Wait, hold up. I don't up. really understand what's going on, oh. but Hifumi had that letter, right? Yes. So whoever wrote it wasn't drawing out TikTok. They were drawing out Huffy. No, because um, of the tort note. Just to be clear, TikTok is Taka and Huffy is Hifumi, right? Yeah. Cool. Yes. Why must you ruin it? <laughs> the nicknames are kind of interesting, but, you know, it's making things not clear. Man, Genocide Jack is seriously scary, but still, I can't let her, I can't let her get to me. I have the note. a.m. What time did it say to me? 6 a.m. I believe. The time doesn't matter. It does. The note has nothing to do with TikTok. Well, the, the time. Yeah. No, I got one. I got one without having trouble. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. No. There absolutely is a connection. Mm-hmm. What? what the hell are you talking about? The note said to meet at 6 a.m. Which is the same time Taka was murdered. Bum, bum, bum. And the slip. The slip of paper. Swap. Whenever I gonna bring that up. But there's more. Look where the note says to meet. The rec? The equipment room, oh, right? Equipment room, I knew that. Which is where Taka was killed. I see. Mm -hmm. So, Taka was murdered at both the time and place written in the note. I think we're getting somewhere. to show that this note was definitely meant for Taka. But we also need the little well, slipping, or the uh, corner. No <laughs> well, thank you, but, but the, still the corner. And someone used that note to trick Taka. Just the same as me. Yeah, y'all are all fools. Culprit really is a cold-blooded monster. Telling people they found a way out. Yeah, I mean. But if they gave the note to Taka, what was Hifumi doing with Taking it? the note back to get rid of evidence. Shut down his pants, no less. Yeah. Most likely. Hifumi stole it off Taka's corpse after he died. And we have evidence. Huh? He, he stole, stole it? Where's your proof? Go ahead. Show us. The ripped letter. Hifumi stole, Hifumi stole it. Um. Oh. <laughs> I just realized. Uh. I don't think y'all have been noticing, but this is hand sanitizer. I've been just like. While I've been playing this, I've been kind of just flipping the cap on and off while I've been going on so I guess that kind of explains <laughs> all right anyways yeah, I just thought about that I, I like bring up the, like the hand sanitizer to my nose to itch my nose I'm like oh yeah I've been setting it every time I've been to itch my nose in the past I don't think y'all y'all might be confused why I have random hand sanitizer on me oh I should probably do this right this one I got ha -ha. I'm when smart I I saw that his life hold on, hold on. I'm gonna end this episode here though. Before we continue on, it's getting late into the episode, and I need to end it. So thank y'all.
Thanks so much for watching. We're going to probably finish up the trial in the next one. We're running out of true pools real quickly. But, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I think I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.